What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Locked Up 365. If you're new to my channel and you like jail related content, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as a video touches down. Today, we're going to be talking about your time in jail. If you get sentenced, how is it broken down? Okay, so if it is a federal crime or a violent crime, you're going to do 85%. I'm going to walk you through how you calculate how much time you will do. I live in Kentucky, so it may be different from where you live. Because I know Kentucky is Commonwealth, so Texas is a lot different than Kentucky, especially on their time. But I'm going to walk you through how we do our time for nonviolence. All right, so the easiest way to figure out what you're going to do on your sentence is do it year by year, okay? So we're going to start off with one year. It's 12 months. When you get your first time sheet, it's going to say nine months. And the reason why it's going to say nine months is because they give you statutory good time right off the top. They automatically take three months off for statutory good time. So that'll leave you at nine months. And then from there, each month you're incarcerated on that sentence, you will get seven days off your sentence. Now that will drop your sentence down to seven months and 21 days. Now you can lower that further by working and getting an additional four days a month off. So you can actually be out in about six months on a one year sentence if you work the entire time. And it also depends on when your out date is. If your out date is June 20th, they might release you on the 1st, because that's usually when they release everybody, the 1st or the 15th. So you might get lucky and they let you out on the 1st or the 15th, and you'll gain a few days there. Now, MRS also kicks in about eight or nine months before your out date. So it just all depends on where you're at in your sentence. Like if you're on a three year sentence and you're working and everything else, you will probably hit parole about eight, nine months. But if you don't make parole, you will be hitting MRS shortly thereafter. And MRS is eight to nine months before your release date. It basically all depends on whenever they can get to you because I've seen people with only six months left of their sentence and then they finally came and released them. If you get down under 10 months with a nonviolent state sentence, at any time you could hit MRS. But if you're on a state year, you cannot hit MRS because there's not even that much time in a state year. In order to hit MRS, you have to have two years in one day. So, I know that one day don't like people's like, what's that one day? It has to be over two years in order to hit MRS. So I've seen a lot of people go in and say, can you sentence me to two years in one day? Because they knew that if they did that, they would, by the time they went through court and everything else, they would almost be eligible for MRS. So even if they didn't make parole, they were getting out anyway. All right, so MRS is basically just like parole. You still have to go and report to a PO and everything. They're basically the same thing, but MRS is mandatory reentry supervision. It's basically a way for them to get people out of jail early because in Kentucky, we're so overpopulated in the jails, it's nuts. So they came up with that, and a lot of people were having trouble once they got out, they would get right back into their old lifestyle and get right back in jail. So they started releasing people early and hoping that, you know, if they had to walk paper, because if you're served out, you're doing whatever you want. So if you get out on MRS and you got to walk paper, no matter what, you got to go take P-tests and everything else. It's basically like a second chance, you know. Like, if you didn't make parole, you can automatically hit MRS. And MRS, it ain't something that they can't give you. Or they're like, oh, well, you know, you got five write-ups. We can't give you MRS. It ain't like parole. It's mandatory. They have to give it to you. 
But as far as calculating your time, once you figure out how to calculate time, you can literally look at anybody's timesheet and basically tell them you're going to hit parole right around October, November. You'll hit MRS in February, March. Like It's pretty standard of how they do their time. But as long as you go off that system of three months automatic statutory good time, then you got another almost three months of supervision and work credit it's pretty pretty standard usually if you work you're going to do about 50 percent of your time if you work and do what you're supposed to do and you're not causing trouble and like getting caught with a bunch of stupid drugs and stuff like that getting a lot of write-ups where they're taking your good time and stuff like that so you just got to be careful a lot of places that i've seen like county jails because they send you to camps here some of them have their own court call and they do take good time, but most of them don't. Usually if you get caught with like tobacco or something like that, they're just going to lock you down and ship you somewhere else and you'll start over, but you will still collect good time the entire time. That's all I have on this video. If anybody has any questions, please leave in the comment section below. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or if you would like to donate the Locked Up 365, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching Locked Up 365.